Hi guys! So today we're gonna desolder a keyboard. This keyboard. Do you want to know what this is? What are you waiting for? Let's get tinkering. Let's check this out. So this is a DC60 keyboard with a KP Republic aluminum case. So it has HHKB layout. So while we are heating the soldering iron, let's talk about this keyboard. So this keyboard has a diffuser below there and it has underglow so this PCB supports many layout but right now it is using an HHKB layout with that said let's open this up so we have removed the bottom diffuser as you can see, it is top mount, so it is screwed in the top part of the case. So let's remove the top plate. Then I use a screwdriver to remove that. secured by four screws So as you can see, I've already removed the casing and now we're gonna desolder it. So I'm gonna use a very special tool. They call it the soldering iron. So it is a soldering iron with a hole in here and the pump. So let's do it. So as you can see. Hold it for 3 seconds, then pump. And it's clean. There. So let's do it on another one. Hold it for 3 seconds, then pump. And so another one. 3 seconds, then pump. Sometimes it won't work once, you can try it again. Once you get the hang of it, it will be as easy as this. So I'll show you a magic trick. So as you can see in number 5, we will just cover it and say the magic word, Abracadabra. Tene. Okay, let's try it again. Let's just cover it and say the magic word. Abra Kadabra. Tene. Do this for the rest of your board and you're good to go. So I have already desoldered all the switches and removed it. I also cleaned the pads so that it will be easy to put the new switches. So we're gonna insert the
color switches which is tactile switches okay so let's do it so we've finished putting all the switch in place now it's time to solder it Now, get the soldering iron, put a little lead in it, the lead will serve as a thermal pad for the soldering iron to transfer heat to the solder pads in here. So let's try. Double check the switches if it is properly placed in the board. If not, you could reheat the pins so that the solder lead will melt and then you could move the switches into its proper position. So do it on the other switches and you're good to go. So we've finished soldering and now it's time to test it. So get the cable and insert it. Okay, so everything is working. Now it's time to put it back in the case and let's test it. So I finally assembled it and now it's time to put the keycaps. So this is Kuala Switches sound test. 